What's up, guys? It's the only Ninja Wearing Aviators and a Superman hat bringing you another episode of Fight Like on the Modern Ninja channel. This time going over Black Panther. Run that intro. That you will kill my mother, you will anyway. That you will destroy my kingdom, you will do that too. It doesn't really matter what you do. I'm still going to kill you. So what's your leverage? That, my son. You mean the one who just sentenced you to death? No. The one that just sentenced you to death. By the way, Claw. A common criminal like yourself has no right to use my proper name. Refer to me by my title. So, uh, I gotta, I gotta be real with you guys. So I drove out, um, to the spot where I've been doing these videos recently. And I gotta tell you, it's hot. I mean, I think today the high was like a 92. And so, at least the day of recording. Uh, so... I'm going to be doing a lot of this video inside my car. Uh, same with the reason I did the last video inside my car, because it's kind of hot. And I'm going to wait for the sun to go down a little bit lower so I can get more shade uh, before I do the next, you know, the outside bit of this video. So that's why we're in the car, in case you were wondering. Black Panther's fighting style is heavily, you know, it, uh, it's heavily altered with his suit and so because he has what i mean by that is because he has this the black panther suit the vibranium claws all that stuff he fights slightly differently than what would be reasonably possible like not flinching when you get shot stuff like that so uh just take that into consideration when you're learning his fighting style but hand to hand it should work just fine so there's some things that i want you to know about his fighting style that are kind of uh, really big red flags, or not red flags, but just really big points to focus on whenever you're uh, practicing. Number one, kicks. Heavy, heavy, acrobatic kicks. Uh, Black Panther is able, with a combination of his uh, suit and the special enchanted herb that he has to take as the King of Wakanda, uh, he's enhanced, and so his acrobatics and strength are at a level above normal humans. And so with that, you know, being said, using his acrobatics in battle is a very common tactic that he uses. Being able to jump, doing three kicks against Captain America's shield all at once, being able to do stuff like that um, is part of, you know, how he fights and what he does. So keep that in mind when you are learning uh, and practicing fighting styles like his. Practice uh, combos with big kicks in it. Practice combos with... Uh, lots of acrobatic movement in it because that will help you um, That will help you, you know, learn that combinate that those combinations better to how Black Panther uses them Secondly is Using open claws as strikes. So Black Panther has these uh, Anti-metal vibranium claws that can cut through basically anything and so because of that a lot of his strikes aren't punches like most fighters they're claw strikes going across going across going up or down maybe doubles pulling apart whatever it is um he opens his hands and uses those claws so obviously if you don't have claws i mean that's not gonna be super helpful for you but there are plenty of how-to videos online where you can go online uh buy some stuff for 30 dollars and make your own black panther claws and so if that interests you definitely go check that out i'll leave link in the description if i remember i'll hopefully remember if i don't let me know in the comics and i'll fix it uh but um so yeah where was i Jeez, i did off track too often but anyway uh, when you're using, you know, your strikes and using your combos, whatever combo you learn, even if it's a combo I taught you, which I think up to now, none of them have had claw strikes, you can still modify them, maybe a hook or an uppercut to have those claw strikes. Now, I'm not saying he doesn't throw punches at all. There are plenty of times 
where Black Panther throws punches, you know, regularly. But there are many, many times where he does them open hands with his claws. So that's something to keep in mind when you're practicing Black Panther's fighting style. Now, um, just like I said in the video before, I'm not going over the individual uh, martial arts techniques and styles that he knows because every character has a unique fighting style to them. Their experiences and what they've learned all come together in how that character fights. And so, uh, that's why I'm not talking about general martial arts styles to learn because honestly, any martial arts style, uh, once, perf once mastered, can be modified to fit whatever scenario. Uh, almost any. And so, the next point I want to make is blocking. There are a couple different ways to block. In my last episode, I would have gone over this a little bit. I'm going to go over it again in this episode in case you missed it. Uh, there are several different types of blocks, but the two um, most general terms that we're going to be using today are hard blocks and soft blocks. Uh, a hard block is basically taking whatever that impact is straight on, just bang, stonewalling it. And a soft block would be more like a, a water bender, taking it and using that weight against them, uh, throwing that momentum back at them. And the third type of block is actually just evasion, which we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but Black Panther does a lot of um, those uh, counter, those soft blocks uh, in his fighting style. He'll either take a punch and use it to throw someone or take a kick and redirect it or something like that he'll less often obviously he has the ability to do both but he will more often than not uh counter and soft block a technique than take it head on and hard block a technique so when you're practicing again when you're practicing his fighting styles and when you're deciding what combinations to use to practice that fighting style and get better with that fighting style take into consideration that you're not gonna just stonewall a lot of techniques. He doesn't, he, that's not who he is. Yeah, he can do it and he has done it before, but Black Panther absorbs and redirects his techniques. And so keep that in mind when you're learning how to um, do your blocks and learning the motion that you should be using with your blocks. I mentioned uh, the redirecting as the third, or not redirecting, I mentioned evasion as the third way to block. And it's basically the best way I think it's not, don't be there. and. Black Panther does use that quite often. He is uh, very agile. His gymnastics feats are incredible. They're literally above human. They're superhuman because of the uh, enchanted herb that he had to take when he became the king of Black Panther or the king of Wakanda. And so uh, some things that you need to know when you're fighting like Black Panther is you have to be quicker than your opponent. You have to work with your speed. You have to be able to dodge and, and bob and weave punches and kicks and attacks from your opponent um, because that's what Black Panther does. So, you know, do a backflip over a kick or he'll um, dive under a punch, whatever it is, um, he evades techniques. Obviously, just like before I just talked about, he does counter them if he has to, but evasion, honestly, I think is the better call and uh, it is what Black Panther does quite, quite often. Um, now, just so you are aware, I don't count when Black Panther has the shield, because shields are meant for you to just stonewall, uh, stonewall blocks, stonewall attacks, and so I'm not counting that because that kind of changes how you block. And besides, he only has the shield in like two scenes of the movie, so I'm not going to count that anyway. But uh, this is using not only the movies, but also the animated series for Black Panther. So in case you're wondering, I have not used the comic version because in the comics, you know, it's still panels. It's it's a printed page. You can't see the motion of exactly how he's fighting. And you can get an idea, but it's not quite the same. Instead, I'm using the animated and uh, movie adaptations so that we have a better look and a better more accurate look as to how black panther fights and since they're both made from marvel it's got to be kind of similar right maybe now uh another point that i have to make uh even though i'm not going into the fact that he of uh, each even though i'm not going into each individual martial arts uh style that he's learned he just know he's learned a ton of them and so because of that he's perfected not only you know the brutal up in your face obvious aspects of martial arts he's also perfected the more fine-tuned 
um, hidden aspects of martial arts. For example, Black Panther is an expert at um, pressure points. He knows where all the different pressure points are on the human body. And so when you're fighting like Black Panther, when you're learning how to fight like Black, Pan Black Panther, it is important that you learn where all the pressure points are on the human body so that you can not only defeat people well but defeat them quickly and efficiently not wasting too much energy on any one person so that you can take on tons of people at once if you can you know disable someone in two shots then you'll have plenty of time for the next guy and so keep that in mind i definitely suggest doing research on uh pressure points in the body i'm gonna go over uh one combination with pressure points in it uh, in this video in, a, in just in a second but uh, when you are learning how to do a black Panther fight go and do your own research because guys I can't tell you everything in this video it's it, it would be too long we'd be here for days and so go do some research look up where some uh, important pressure points are and be very careful I will also do some pressure point videos in the future if that's what you guys want. If you want to see some pressure point videos uh, for combat to dummies, definitely you know subscribe so you get the videos and leave a comment letting me know if you want me to do pressure point videos. But let's get to some combinations. All right, so we're gonna be going over our first combination. I put you guys a little bit lower so you can see the actual kicks because again, I'm gonna be using kicks in this combination uh, first and note that these strikes are gonna be open hand claws. Imagine I have claws. I obviously don't have claws right now, but that doesn't matter because once you make your own claws, it will be those claws. So here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start with our dominant leg behind us. We're gonna do a front kick to the groin and a roundhouse kick to the head. Just like this, one, two, just like that. All with that same leg, pop, pop. Nice and fast. One, two, roundhouse kick to the head. Now, as you put that foot down, one, two, is gonna go under, ducking under some technique. Either it's a kick, a punch, it doesn't matter. So you're gonna go, sorry about the wind again, ahead of time. One, two, duck, open up, claw, claw across, just like that. You can go one, two, duck, crawl, just like that, all together. All right, next we have a more pressure point oriented combination. Now in this combination, we're gonna be hitting uh, two, well, I guess one pressure point and one break point in this combination and then just a knockout with the kick. So the two brush points is gonna be one above the knee, going for this joint right here. Because if you don't have your tendons right there in your, the inside of your knees, you can't, you can't walk, you can't run, you can't fight. So the first one is using your claws against the side and backs of that knee, getting rid of the motion of the use of that leg. Now, the second break point is gonna be the hyperextended elbow. You can only open your elbow so much. Your, your elbow goes in one direction. You can turn your arm, but your elbow goes in one direction. And so uh, the break point is gonna be pushing this elbow past where its you know limit is and breaking that arm. Because again, if you can't use your arm, you can't fight. <laughs> and then lastly is gonna be a temple kick. So here we go. You're gonna take your fighting stance here, waiting for him. We're gonna wait for that first attack coming ideally at your head, but if it's at your torso, I'm trying to make sure no birds poop on me today. <laughs> but uh, ideally if it's at torso, you just have to duck lower. Right now we're gonna imagine a an attack like a bat swinging at our head. You're going to, with those claws out, duck underneath and swipe at the leg. Swipe at that knee getting those, the back of the sending. Try to reach your hand around that, that leg, not just hitting the front, but reaching around and pulling out. So one, just like that. One, ducking under, one, block, or taking when they swing their arm back, because you know, you just got rid of their knee, so they're swinging back at you. You're going to catch, grab, and break. Use that momentum in their swing to break their own arm across your forearm just like that. So it's a catch and bang, a breaking the elbow. Now lastly, you're going to continue that spin 
a backspin kick right across their face, knocking them out. So all together, it's gonna be ducking under, swiping out, blocking and breaking, and then bang, just like that. So again, one more time. One, two, three. Just like that. So it just occurred to me that I say just like that way too much in my video. So here's what we're gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to do the next, um, the next segment of this combination, the last combination, without saying just like that at all. This is gonna take quite a while. Here we go. So again, this is gonna be coming at a lower angle because it's gonna involve kicks. Now this is gonna be more of an acrobatic uh, combat style or combat um, combo that uh, is more of a defensive evading type of combination. We talked about how Black Panther evades. So again, so many animals around here right now. So we're gonna go and try to do a combination. I'm gonna teach you how to do a combination that involves a backspin kick and then a backwards one-handed cartwheel. Now it's gonna be kind of difficult for you to get it first, so just pay attention. And if you want me to do another video in more depth of any of these techniques, just you know, let me know down in the comments. So here we go. So our first move is going to be take from our fighting stance with our dominant leg behind us. We want to move away from the bad guy. So you're going to do a back spin kick to keep them at their distance, whether you hit them or not, that doesn't really matter. You're going to do that back spin kick, bang. As soon as you set that down, you're going to step away and together, and then your right hand, your dominant right hand, is going to reach backwards to get that cartwheel out of the, of the way, just like that. So again, once you're here, this dominant hand is going to reach backwards as your one-handed cartwheel. Keeping you out of harm's way. Also allowing you to kick them on the way back. So one more time, all together from this body stance right here, I'm gonna move up and go one, two, Yeah, I totally failed trying to keep from saying that. That did not work at all, but oh well, better luck next time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun to make, kind of fun to just watch a bunch of Black Panther fight scenes to try to learn how he fights and what makes him different from other characters. If there's a specific character, oh, I'm out of breath. I just came inside from doing the last fight. So anyway, if there's another character that you want to see me do, definitely let me know down in the comments. I have a bunch of characters, a bunch of characters that I want to do, but if you want to put yours and your favorite one earlier than others, <laughs> then let me know. That's how you tell me what you want to see. If you want to see, you know, uh, Damian Wayne next, let me know. If you want to see uh, Green Arrow from, you know, the Arrowverse, or you want to see specifically uh, <laughs> ben Affleck's Batman or um, heck, if you want to see Adam West Batman, then let me know that I can get that ahead of some of the other videos I have planned because I have a bunch planned. I think I have uh, 50 or 52, 50 to 55 folders for these episodes already like ready to go. And so it just takes time for me to go and record all the episodes, record them like this, uh, edit together, get my you know busted up computer that has a fan busted to actually render it without overheating. So with all that said, again, let me know if you wanna see something like that. Let me know if you wanna see a certain character in the future. Uh, also, share these videos with your friends. It gives me a lot of um, pride and encouragement to see these videos do well because I put a lot of work into them. I know it doesn't seem like it takes a lot. I know it doesn't seem that difficult, but it, it, it takes a little bit. And so I would really appreciate you guys um, helping me out and giving me a hand sharing the videos out if you would like. Also, subscribe if you are not already. If you have this video shared to you, subscribe if you are not currently subscribed to see more uh, videos just like this. So until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. I'm out.